Hey guys, this is back with another video. Today we're looking at Andre Briggs, also known as Captain Holt's best moments. I am a massive Brooklyn Nine I feel. I have seen all the episodes multiple times, right? Captain Holt, when he came in, it was a bit jarring. I'll be real, he was a bit jarring, but as soon as he got into it, it was fun. Funny character, became one of the best very quickly, and we've lost him recently. Or at the young age of 61, to be fair. It was like, it was ill for a while and then passed away, which is very sad to see. So today we're going to be looking at the best of him, remembering some of his be best moments on TV. It was a funny character, I can't lie, and he took his role well. So let's get straight into this. Of course, this is day 13 of posting every day. But this is, let's get right into it. <laughs> I'm tired of politics. Let's get that punk, Bloodso. This is amazing. Of course, we have no idea where he is, but I love where your head's at. He has no family. Maybe there was a girlfriend or someone he worked with at the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Why would someone who knows they have $21 million coming take a minimum wage job? Because he needed access to that building. Because that's where the money's hidden. All right, we gotta get there quick. Maybe we should take the chopper. Here's that chopper. Deathblade, Sidewinder. It's go time! Roger that, wet blanket. No, from now on, call me... Wet blanket. Velvet Thunder. Okay. Shout out to Velvet Thunder, man. Hello, Raymond. His arch nemesis, I can tell by the voice! <laughs> Wunch! Or should I say Wunch? Captain Wunch, good to see you. But if you're here... Who's guarding, guarding Hades? Hades? Cause she's the devil. Huh, meat from the street. Sounds like a fun treat. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know, know I was rhyming those words, <laughs> but it happened anyway. It's a great idea, partner. <laughs> Ruth, I'm gonna be straight with you. I it was not a great idea. They ended up having very bad diarrhea. Accidentally knocked up a woman. Greg! You know me. <laughs> this was when he was having to act straight. Nah. I see a pair of <laughs> thick, weighty breasts, <laughs> and all logic flies out the window. I don't know what's going on down at police headquarters, <laughs> and no one will tell me anything. So, you're saying that not knowing what your bosses are up to is driving you a little crazy. You've used my logic against me. Well played, Timmy. Well played. Thank you, sir. Look at that. You've helped me find my smile. <laughs> you got so much happier by the end, like, oh. Um. Hello, detective. Is there a reason you're interrupting me mid suit? Whoa, you really. Look how smoldering he is. They made the balloon arch. Made? No. I birthed her. <laughs> Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No. He set him up. Damn. No, because no one ever believed. Yo. Because now he says it is lying. Because there's no proof. Sick son of a bitch. So who was your partner back when you caught the Brooklyn broiler? Martin Orman Cup. Uh honestly. He was a great partner. Smart, loyal, homophobic, but not racist. <laughs> In those days that was pretty good. <laughs> no! That's pretty good. When I said homophobic but not racist. Fez. Yo, standard was low. Damn, the standards were low. I've never been more proud of you for anything in your life. I mean, I've solved a lot of cases for you, and yet crime has continued. The mask thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How 
Dare you, Detective Diaz. I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! <laughs> Don't ever speak to me like that again. Watch next day. Why? Watch the next day. Watch. You should do that. Dude is pent up. Now he knows. Problem Bone! solved. <laughs> Vindication! The Cairn Terrier is intelligent and inquisitive. They ended up losing money. Inquisitive with a bold personality. <laughs> a bold personality. We know what that's code for. She's a bitch. <laughs> Sergeant, I'd like you to meet Richard <laughs> and. Yo! Ho! Calm down! Otherwise, she's. And Dan. They are puppies. Very cute, sir. Maybe your twins would like some. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but that's impossible. With the twins learning how to walk, chaos reigns at the Jeffords household. I can't let those innocent pups into that madhouse. Terry won't do you like that. I understand. Just know, you, you have disappointed all three of us. All three of us. That's cold, <laughs> sir. Uh, if you excuse me, uh, Sergeant Wells, we need to go to the BRB. It's BRB time. We're BRB. <laughs> Make space. You make space. This closet is for people who are freaking out. Oh, I'm fully freaking out. I just experimented with an unfamiliar acronym in public. BRB, what does it even mean? Be right back. It is the same number of syllables as the acronym. What's the point? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I have no idea Captain Holt was interested point? in food. I have zero interest in food. If it were feasible, my diet would consist entirely of flavorless beige smoothies containing all the nutrients required by the human animal. There are very few black detectives. Did I ever tell you what my first day on the job was like? Did you come to hunt yourself in? Shock horror. Hello, I'm Raymond Holt. Are you here to turn yourself in? Shock it's horror. 9 a.m. Shock horror. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I like to play. <laughs> I'd say she's in line at the, the bank. bank. This is fun. <laughs> it is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. What is, what is wrong with him? Guess who was right? Have a guess who was right? There she is, Amy. Where have you been? You've been, been, been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will <laughs> tell us now. See, this is what he started growing in the group. There's a problem with the bank. Yes! <laughs> I've been researching ways to raise morale, and I found an interesting article in a scientific journal. Oh, was it from the American Journal of No One Cares? Jeffords, you know you never go up against Big Boss. You know you never go up against Hulk. What's this? According to a recent study, the physical act of smiling can improve your mood. I suggest we give it a shot. <laughs> hmm? Now you all try. Big smiles. Bigger, bigger! <laughs> Great, now we just... Yo, Jeffers! I have to stay like this for... I, I just looked to the right and I had to press play and just pause again because that was giving me nightmares! The next two hours. Can you feel it? Working? I don't have any enamel on my teeth so the cold air is excruciating. Maybe if you brushed your teeth once in a while this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I do brush my teeth. They're decaying from acid reflux. You're embarrassing yourself. Crikey. You're not Australian, Gina. Get stuffed, you drone girl. Guys, seriously, too much exposure to air. And <laughs> oh, I love Gina. They will turn to dust. This isn't working out as well as I'd hoped. Time for the next level. Forced laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. And how am I supposed to get all the way up there? When they were on the run, you got shot. Gracefully. Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! <laughs> Boost, Boost my, my bottom! bottom. Boosting! Boosting! <laughs> and now, now it's time. Double cheek top. It was double cheek top. Time to send in our cute little secret weapon. I'm ready, Captain. <laughs> I love the nickname. No, Charles, not you. I was talking about Cheddar. Cheddar. Oh. Right, obviously. <laughs> Over the past month, I've had him trained to retrieve plaques. And now, boy, it's time to make Daddy proud. Yes, sir. I could not have been more clearly talking to the dog. <laughs> sir, I thought you said... <laughs> make Daddy proud and he responded, yes, sir, is absolutely crazy. That, you know what? That is 
mad. This is my case. I gave you two weeks. I'm done fending off the organized crime unit. Squad, since Peralta's briefing was cut short, you can all use this time to clean up your desks. Look at this place, half-eaten food, crumpled tissues, pictures of your families. What's wrong with pictures? <laughs> if you love someone, you remember you'll remember what they look, what like. They look like. Quote, it was a quote. You all right, Captain? Tough weekend? I went to Barbados with my husband. We wove hats out of palm fronds and swam with the stingrays. I've never been happier. <laughs> guy's impossible to read. Don't even try. That is without question the funniest story I've ever heard. What'd you do? What'd you say? Nothing. We just said welcome back. <laughs> and laughed with him about all the weight he gained in France. <laughs> Why is everyone just standing around? Get back to work. So long, Tank. Tank! <laughs> I gained three pounds in Paris. <laughs> three pounds! Sarge, that painting is tight. It's terrible. The brushwork is sloppy, it's poor use of negative space. I'm a fraud. Not at all. I'd like to take this home for my husband. He'll be glad you made me look so happy. Rise and shine, detectives. Rise and shine. Peralta, I want you to bring everyone up to speed. You slept in your office and you look exactly the same. How? What are you talking about? My hair is a mess. Oh, yeah. Hey, Captain. <laughs> You're just, uh, literally. Brooklyn Nine-Nine would not have been what it was without Captain Holt. The chemistry he had with just the other actors was just amazing. I, he, he had different chemistry with each actor, but it fit it so perfectly. Like, he was... Damn! Damn! Oh. <sighs> Honestly, I'll be so real. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna rewatch Brooklyn Nine-Nine again. Laugh once again, like always. What kind of night? One of my favorite shows. Funny as heck. Been watching it for years and years and years and years. Honestly, it's so sad to hear. Like, we just lost. I forgot his actual name, but Chandler Bing from Friends. I watch Friends a bit. I wasn't really a big fan of Friends like that, but I'm a big fan of Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's so sad to see this actually. Oh, it's so oh, sad to see. Nevertheless. Hope his family's doing okay. Hope he's rest, rest in peace. Because, hey, he touched a lot of people's lives, whether he knew it or not. I'm one of them. It's a great entertainment, great comfort show. Sad to see he's gone. But, hey, like, subscribe. Peace, guys.